Coach, uh, just so far, your kind of impressions with the quarterbacks. Obviously, you know Cam pretty well, but just what have you seen from some of these other guys out here? Yeah, I think just too much inconsistency right now, and, and it's part of the deal with this offense. We put a ton on the quarterbacks. We want to make it hard for them and easier for everybody else. So they got to check a lot of stuff at the line of scrimmage for us and get people lined up. And so, um, you know, you expect once you start putting more and more on them that they're going to have some busts here and there. So, uh, you know, I'm happy with their progression right now, but uh, we have a long ways to go. And, and hopefully, you know, by practice 15 that we have a guy that's a clear cut number two for us. When you say clear-cut number two, I assume you're kind of referring to Cam being kind of that clear-cut number one right now? Yeah, and I think he's ahead of everybody, and we're extremely honest with these quarterbacks. I mean, he came in with a quarterback-driven system like we have. Um, you know, he has two years on these guys, so he kind of knows what I expect. Um, now, is he where he needs to be? Absolutely not. Um, you know, going back to the scrimmage last uh, Saturday, you know, I thought he started extremely slow. And so, and that's something he's got to take a leadership uh, and some, some accountability on this football team. And so, didn't like how he started. Then, once he hit a big play, it's kind of like he caught his stride and, and performed really well uh, the back three-fourths of the scrimmage and so uh, starting fast is key for us you know I, I think we're on target right now as far as a progression where I want them right now but a couple guys battling back there I mean I think Emmett Brown's done some nice things as a, as a freshman coming in he should be in high school right now uh, Vic has done a really nice job I thought he had a nice scrimmage you know uh, I think he was 11 for 14 with a couple touchdowns last week and then uh, and then Xavier Ward's getting some good reps for us right now so those three anybody has a chance right now and then two you know if someone passes up Cam then they pass up Cam but uh, they're a little bit further behind which is expected you know just uh, today in particular uh stribs and, and shorts lincoln's not doing a whole lot uh obviously renard's been injured you get kind of a better look at some of these young guys ryan peters josh meredith um what have you kind of seen from that receiver group and how do you kind of think those young guys have progressed over the first few days yeah i think they're competing i mean the biggest thing is you know we've completed some go balls uh the last couple of days which was not the case the first couple of practices so excited that we've been able to get the ball up and down and and complete some go balls versus some one high lux and then um you know i think orion peterson really sticks out as a guy right now that that is pushing for some really really heavy playing time i i like you know his mental makeup i like his toughness and his route running and his quickness is something really uh, that stands out right now so him and then another guy that's doing really well is drake Owen, I think, is coming out and, and it's had a great camp so far. And so excited to see those guys in the slot. I mean, we have some big uh, shoes to fill from the two that we lost last year. Um, and then same thing at running back. So uh, big shoes to fill, but I think the guys are stepping up to the challenge right now. We saw in the scrimmage, I know it was just an early scrimmage and everything, but 75-25 like about on the, the pass run balance. Is that kind of ballpark where you want it and was that pretty similar to what it was at Incarnate Word? Yeah well? a little light in, in the running area you know I thought we should have handed some balls off in the RPO game so you know I thought we called enough runs but they ended up being passes because the looks that they gave us um, but I thought we were good when we handed the ball off you know I think we averaged almost seven yards per carry and so um, excited about our production but um, I got to do a better job of get the quarterback's eyes in the right spot that way we can get these running balls these running backs the ball going downhill and um, you know one bright side it was Javinsky coming in as a true freshman and uh, did a nice job making some strong runs for us. Do you expect that you guys will probably run the ball more here than, than you did uh, last season or the season before at Incarnate Work? You know, this is kind of a take what they give you offense. And so uh, with the RPO game that we run, um, it just kind of depends on the defense. So, um, you know, if we're going to see a lot of too high, then absolutely. We're going to hand it off a ton. And um, But, you know, if the defense is coming down and they're adding an extra guy to the run game, then um, we're going to take pride in, in throwing the ball over their heads. Is there a sort of ideal mold of a running back in this offense? Are you looking for balance or power or pass catching abilities? Anything you want to see in your feature back? And also, how many guys do you plan to play at running back? Going yeah, to you know, I'd like to have all three of those characteristics you just talked about. Um, you know, those are hard to find sometimes. You know, the biggest thing that, that we're doing now, as opposed to the run and shoot, is we get the ball out to the run back in the passing game. And so, um, you know, first and foremost, I, we need these guys to be able to provide something and being able to catch and run after the catch. And then, um, and then too, yeah, we want a big, strong guy that can step up and protect the quarterback on some blitz pickup. So, um, yeah, I don't think we have just this perfect, you know, creature of what we're looking for, but we definitely need a tough guy that, that has good hands. And right now, does this kind of seem like uh, Nakia and Shalene Baker are, are sort of on top right now for one, two, or is that just the, you know, completely up in the air at this point? Yeah, I mean, I think Dylan Payne and Katzer have done a nice job for us. They continue to compete. Obviously, um, our numbers are low right there at running back right now. So, um, you know, we'll breed a kid in uh, Jalen Jenkins from Texas. Uh, that's in a really explosive kid out in space. So we'll try to find ways to get him involved and get him in space. 
And then, um, and those four are battling right now. I don't think anybody's just solidified it. I think Nikki has been, you know, the most consistent so far. And so um, I, I definitely think he's the leader of the group. And through a couple of weeks of spring camp, how would you assess just in general how the offensive line's done? I know that's another sort of thin group right now as well. Yeah, you know, the one thing I've been surprised at, I think – Pass protection a little bit better than I expected with with all the youth that we have, you know, losing four guys is, is always hard. Um, and then um, you know moving some people around, you know, putting Kingston out at tackle where you know he's been a guard his whole entire career. So we got guys in new positions, and so I thought they've done a really nice job in pass protection. Um, still have to work on some of the gap scheme running stuff. They just haven't done it very much, and so um, so it'll be key that these guys continue to get better at pulling and being a little bit more physical at the point of attack. As long as we're going through the positions, just uh, figure I'll ask you about the tight end spot. Obviously, new back to uh, to this town and this uh, school, but you know, getting a lot of these guys in pretty much position converts, transfers, etc. Uh, high school kid. What have you kind of seen from that group and how they've kind of picked up the offense and for some of them picked up a new position? Yeah, and until and you know, we use the tight ends in two different ways. You know, we'll use more of an H back that's a little bit more like a fullback, and then a true inline tight end that's a little bit more like a Y. And so, um, you know, I, I think Dollar had a first good couple days and then, um, you know, has been a little bit limited the last couple days, so haven't seen as much. And another one that stands out is uh, Billy Revere's done a great job. He's played a lot of football coming um, from North Dakota. He was their starter last year, and so um, he's probably a little bit more ready to play. And then uh, Cooper Mathers that's moved over from, uh, from linebacker, I think, has had a really solid uh, first six or seven practices for us. So it's still going to evolve. Uh, it's an evolving position for us. It's a position we have to grow over time. You know, it's not going to be just ready-made right now with us not being able to develop it so um so yeah i look forward to continue to see who kind of emerges as the leader in that group okay, good. Thanks, coach. thank you